Hey everyone! Today we're going to be talking about moon phases, what they are, and how to tell the difference. If you want to follow along at home, all you need is a pack of Oreos. Moon phases happen during the moon's orbit around the Earth, which usually takes around 28 days. This process makes the moon appear to be more or less visible at different phases during this cycle. When a part of the moon is shadowed and invisible, that part of the moon is turned away from the sun. Half of the moon is always in shadow, and half is always illuminated, but we perceive different phases based on the moon's position in relation to us and the sun. Now this Oreo, with the cream still intact, is known as a full moon, or when the moon appears to be a perfect circle. This is when one half of the moon is illuminated by the sun. As the moon orbits Earth, the sun lights up whatever side of the moon is facing it. This makes it look like moonlight, but is actually reflected sunlight. When the moon is between the sun and Earth, it's called a new moon. The sun's light cannot reflect down to Earth, and the moon looks like it has disappeared. This is represented by a cookie without any cream. The moon is still there, you just can't see it. Next, we're going to go over the first and last quarters. These happen in between the full and new moons where only a quarter of the moon, or what we see as half, is shown. As the moon continues its orbit around the Earth, the part that is visible to us grows or shrinks. When the visible part gets bigger, it's called waxing, and when it gets smaller, it's called waning. As the moon approaches the sun, getting closer to a new moon, the moon appears to shrink. From a new moon to a full moon, it appears to grow. These shapes are called a waxing gibbous and a waxing crescent. After the new moon, the moon appears to grow. These are called a waning gibbous and a waning crescent. As you can see, the shape of the moon depends on where sunlight is hitting the moon in its orbit. Moon phases can be used to track time, and were an important tool towards learning how planetary objects orbit each other. By tracking moon phases, we were able to learn that the moon orbits the Earth, and the Earth orbits the Sun. Moon phases can also be important for tracking tides and different planetary cycles. Look up at the moon tonight, and determine which phase the moon is in. Comment the moon phase you see down below. That's all. Thank you for watching. This video was made by Marlon and Charlie, two docents at the University of Michigan's Museum of Natural History.